Not long ago, for the 4th of July, I made a video about state reptiles. While it's not anywhere near the 4th of July, I was recently reminded that some states also have state amphibians. Considering how interesting amphibians are, and how rarely I talk about them on the channel, I figured I'd make a sequel to that original video. Let's get into it. Alabama is the Red Hill Salamander. It is only found in Alabama and is listed as an endangered species. Arizona is the Arizona Tree Frog. Oddly enough, the Arizona Tree Frog isn't as it seems. The species listed as such, Dryophytes eximius, the Mountain Tree Frog, is actually endemic to Mexico. Dryophytes ritorum is found in Arizona, however, and it's believed the two species were mixed up due to how similar they are. Fun fact, California is the California Red-Legged Frog. It is a frog with reddish legs. It's also listed as vulnerable. Vulnerable? I can't say that word properly. Colorado is the Western Tiger Salamander, also called the Barred Tiger Salamander. They are occasionally kept as pets, although the Eastern Tiger Salamander is the more common one in the pet trade. Georgia is the American Green Tree Frog, a relatively common animal in the southeastern United States and an animal that is also popular in the pet trade. Idaho is the Idaho Giant Salamander. Their bite is strong enough to break human skin. Illinois is the aforementioned Eastern Tiger Salamander. Eastern tiger salamanders are not the same species as western, although they are related, of course. Iowa is the American bullfrog, unofficial. Native to the eastern US, Mexico, and Canada, it has become invasive in places such as Japan and France. Kansas is also the western, barred, tiger salamander. They're found in western Canada and northern Mexico as well. Louisiana is also the American green tree frog. They pick their food, usually insects, based on how active the insect is rather than its size. A slow-moving insect will be safer than a jumpy one like a cricket or a fly. Minnesota is the northern leopard frog, proposed but unofficial. They have a variety of morphs, from green to brown and even albino, which is rare. Missouri is also the American bullfrog. Bullfrog legs are commonly eaten in the southern United States. New Hampshire is the red-spotted newt, eastern newt. It's bright red as a juvenile, called a red eft. As an adult, it's green with the red spots. New Mexico is the New Mexico Spadefoot Toad. They get the name Spadefoot because they have spade-like protrusions coming out of their feet that they use to dig. New York is the Wood Frog, proposed. It's a frog made entirely out of wood. It can also survive very cold temperatures for a frog. North Carolina has a state frog, the Pine Barrens Tree Frog, which is rare, and a state salamander the marbled salamander. Ohio has a state amphibian, the spotted salamander, and a state frog, the American bullfrog, again. Somebody please tell Ohio that frogs are also amphibians. Oklahoma is the American bullfrog as well. The bullfrog's native range also includes backyard pools and koi ponds. Pennsylvania is the hellbender, which is the coolest name ever for a harmless salamander. Expect a video on them soon. South Carolina is also the spotted salamander. Their embryos have been found to have symbiotic algae living within them, which is pretty dang neat. Tennessee is the Tennessee cave salamander, which is a salamander that lives in airplanes. Texas is the Texas toad, which is native to Arkansas. Okay, I kid. Vermont is also the northern leopard frog. Virginia is the red salamander, which is red and had no lungs. Washington is the Pacific Tree Frog, which can be found as far north as southern Alaska, which is an extreme place to find a frog. West Virginia is also the Red Salamander. Shocker, West Virginia stealing something from its neighbor yet again. Wyoming is the Blotched Tiger Salamander, which is actually a subspecies of the Western Tiger Salamander. Last but not least, as a bonus, Puerto Rico is the Common Coquille. It's an important symbol in Puerto Rican culture and was named for the sound it makes. If I didn't mention your state, it's because your state sucks. I, I kid, only partially, but I do. It just means they haven't declared an official state amphibian yet, which is a very important thing, by the way, so shame on them for not doing it. Out of the 50 US states, only 27 have state amphibians, with some of these being unofficial or simply proposed. One US territory, Puerto Rico, had an official amphibian. I mean, Arizona is primarily desert, and even we have a state amphibian. Even if we chose one that's not even found in our state. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.